Hey everybody, happy Friday night. This is Kim Danke, the Shibboleth new member fast track instructor. And I'm so thankful that you are here with me tonight. We are going to have a lot of fun tonight, continuing to learn all about your resources in the myshiboleth.com website. If you are finding this webinar tonight and you are not a member of Shibboleth, we would love for you to join us. You can get a membership at www.shibolithdeals.com. Right now, it's only $69 for a lifetime membership, and you get the education that you need, you get the resources, tools that you need, and you get mentor appointments, all of this for a lifetime. So it's worth the $69. Please grab your membership at shibolithdeals.com. If you had somebody tell you about Shibboleth, please write in their first and last name where it says, how'd you hear about Shibboleth? Okay. We don't have a marketing department. So guess what we do? We like to thank our members um, for helping us spread the word. If you are on Facebook, please take just a second to say hello. It looks frozen up there. Not sure what's happening. I think I might restart the live stream. Bear with me, please. If you are in the Zoom room, though, find where your chat button is and then click all panelists and attendees and then say hello and let me know how you're doing this week. If you've been doing Shibboleth this week since you've been hanging out with me. Okay, maybe we'll get back live on Facebook and get that fixed. All right, Julia. Hey, Julia from Ringle, Ring, I was going to say Ringle, Georgia, Ridgefield, Washington. Awesome. Glad you're here with us, Julia. Thank you. Karen Seals. Hello, Kim. Perfect week so far. Awesome, Karen. Congratulations. That's fabulous. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook, y'all let me know if you can hear me and see me because I look frozen on the screen and I don't know why it's doing that. So if you are on Facebook, you might want to join me in the Zoom room because we are moving along. All right, we're going to share my screen. Uh, I already have that set up. Okay. We're going to share my screen and we're going to go over lap six tonight. Lap six. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Glad you're here with me. Thank you for typing something in because Facebook keeps pausing. So at least I know that some of the time I'm coming through. And I just read your post about the movies. That's funny. Go to have a good time and a pipe bursts. Um, okay. So when you are in fast track lap six, there's a little tutorial video right here. And remember, that's only eight minutes and 57 seconds long if you need a quick little tutorial on how to complete these tasks. And remember, the fast track was designed. Hey, Nicole, glad you're here. Awesome. Nicole from Kennesaw. Welcome. So the fast track was designed as a curriculum that you could methodically use to walk you through learning the lifestyle, okay? I don't know how old you are, but however old you are, that's how many years of, of knowledge that we have unlearning to do, or that's how many years of habits that we need to undo. This does not happen overnight, okay? I mean, it can but some people, it takes longer than a week. But the reason that this is put into place is so that you can do a task. And then if you feel like, whoo, I need to take a break, you go, you walk around, you take a break, you come back, you do another task. Maybe you go walk around, take a break, come back and do another task. They're not hard, but when you are learning something new, it is taxing on your brain to learn something new. But as Gloria says right up there, knowledge is power. And don't you want the power in order to have that knowledge and be able to make decisions for yourself? Thank you, Patty Bass, for tagging people. Appreciate that. So, so anyway, even if it takes a little bit longer for you to understand it, do not give up. 
This is worth it. Your health and your comfort and your self-confidence is worth it. So we're going to keep right on going. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do tonight is we're going to have a look at what we call the advanced combination chart. Okay, so I'm going to read the, read the little um, task. Check out the combination chart for advanced members and watch the class that goes with it. At this point in time, you may not feel like you're an advanced member, but I want to tell you this is the combination I char I chart I used from the very beginning, okay? Now, the, the other chart that we had earlier in the week really kind of left out category three energy carbs and category five fruit. Not that you can't have it from the very beginning, but that we know if you'll back off on those things for the first seven to 10 days, then you get better results. And we want you to get results. We want you to be happy about the results that you get. But we also want you to know all the things that you can do. And so we're going to click here on this combination chart and I'm going to just blow this up a little bit. All right, so just as a reminder, this is how you read this chart. When you see a one, that does not mean quantity. That means category one. The L means LP, lean protein. So if you were reading this, you would say category one, lean protein. And the plus sign just means eaten with category two, fibrous carb. Eaten with a category three, energy carb. See, this is a new, this is a new combination. It's not on that other combination chart. This next combination is a new combination. So there's your energy carb and there's your fruit. That's a new combination. And then as you come down here, see these have those two. So there's a, there's, there's just more there for you to be able to, to uh, have variety. All right. Now, just one of these lines is a meal. You don't have to eat all those in a day because that would be way more than our uh, allowed portions for the day. But this is just another way to look at food. And if you have been creating your favorite list this week, and I truly hope that you have been creating your favorites lists, then what you do is you pull something from one category, something from this category and something from this category and you make a meal. Now, these are, I just kind of call these simple meals, because if you cook some chicken, you cook some green beans, and you cook some carrots, and you eat that together, that's just simple little things. But you know, we also like to, well, how can I, how can I make nachos and make this work? Well, nachos, they are really kind of, I actually make nachos, and they're over here. I make some nachos right here. So look, a category one lean protein I will use the 96% lean ground beef. Um, and then I take some, um, instead of nachos, let's just say tacos. I'll make a soft taco. I'll take my category two fibrous carb wrap and I'll put some lettuce in there and I'll use cheese for my condiment. And of course my meat has been seasoned with taco seasoning. That right there is tacos. So what you wanna do is figure out how to take the things that you've liked before and then we've always liked before and make them Shibboleth approved. A lot of times you were just purchasing a new product and just putting a few different things together, okay? So this is an advanced combination chart. This blue column is fast weight loss because it is different than what you were doing before Shibboleth. See, before you came to Shibboleth, you probably weren't controlling insulin just because you didn't know about it. Um, but when you start changing that up, even having all this variety, you are still going to have fast weight loss. This is fastest. Actually, I call it faster, but Travis calls it fastest because he was like, what's faster than fastest? Blowtorch. You are blowtorch and fat like you'd blowtorch butter. MCT stands for medium chain triglyceride. And if you haven't seen that video, I talk about that on Sunday night. And then this HHF is hemp hearts and hemp flakes. We're going to find a video on that in just a second because Travis does a great job, a full hour teaching on that product. And if you want to use hemp hearts and hemp flakes, I would want you to watch that. But just if you're writing notes, hemp hearts are category six superfood and hemp flakes are category one and two, uh, category, category one and two. 
So if something is a category one and two, what that means to you is that it has enough lean protein in it and enough fibrous carb in it to be both. So hemp products are really great for weight loss. So you might want to learn how to use those. Down here at the bottom right here, see this MR? Remember, we went over meal replacements last night and we went over negative two and negative three meal replacements last night. They're listed here. And then this PP stands for perfect pairing. Perfect pairing are things that wouldn't normally go together. They don't quite follow the rules, but it's been determined that that particular thing put together will still work. So that's what a perfect pairing is. But because it doesn't quite follow the rules, look where it falls, falls in the blue column. But all of this is great for weight loss. And what I like to say is most people are not going to be just living in one column. You know, for breakfast, you might do one. Then lunch, you might do another. Dinner, you might do another. But it's good to know. I have a friend, Patty. She says, I'm going to blowtorch this off. OK, well, she's going to want to stick in that if she wants to blowtorch that off. OK, so it just depends on how far, I mean, how fast you want to go. And uh, but, you know, there's no reason not to enjoy the enjoy the drive, enjoy the journey to take the scenic route occasionally while not come out of, coming out of efficient fat burning. That would be over here in the blue, okay? So that's advanced combination chart. Hey, Teresa, glad you're here. Okay, so once you just kind of know that there's an advanced combination chart, Maybe you print it. If you don't have a printer, maybe you just screenshot it and you have access to it. Once you know that, you click the link. I mean, I mean, you click the box. Okay, so now let's practice finding videos because there's, now I like for people to keep blinders on for the first couple of weeks. Let's just, let's just focus. Let's just focus first couple of weeks. And you don't need to go all over the website. You just need to get living the lifestyle down, okay? You need enough knowledge to get living the lifestyle down and let somebody look at your food that you've been eating after a week or two. Let, let one of the mentors have a look. You can just apply for, not apply, you can ask for a journal review right there in your journal. They can have a look for you and let you know, give you any tips that you might need to know. And then just keep living the lifestyle, okay? That's really what we want to do is just, expand our knowledge so that it can help us. So the search bar in the video library can be used to find videos on a specific topic. Please find the search bar in the video library and search for survival kit. This will generate a list of videos tagged with the keywords of survival kit. Next, search for hemp. This will generate a list of videos ta tagged with the keyword hemp. And I also want us to search for advanced so that when you're ready to watch the advanced combination chart videos, you'll already have them hearted and ready, but it do doesn't say that in the black box. Notice the heart for each video. You can heart your favorites for easy access. Do you see a theme here? You can heart things so that you can quickly and easily find them in this very large, robust, and wonderful website. So let's click here. We're going to the video library. When you are no longer in Fast Track anymore, you're going to find the video library by clicking right there, videos and print material. That's where you're going to go when you're not in Fast Track anymore. Fast Track's just the curriculum to help you learn where everything is. You don't have to go through Fast Track in the future to find these things. My job is to help you know where to find them on the website. And I don't cover everything in Fast Track. That would be like, fast year okay I'd have to do a whole year to cover everything so when you come down here I said to look for the search bar there it is it's right there you can type in something um let's say we're going to type in some things in a minute and then you can hit that search icon these are my favorites and that's where your favorites would be so anything that you heart would be right there and if if you're on a computer and you're your video library isn't showing up like this. There's three different ways to look at the videos. You can look at them in list view. You can look at them in video blocks or detail level. I prefer detail level because it gives you this topic section. 
And if you're on your phone, I think detail level is the best because then it pop when you hit topics, it then shows you all those lists out right there. So just make sure that if yours doesn't look like having this black thing on the side, that you've chosen this detail level as your the, the look of your video library. All right, so let's have a look right here. Do you see where it says fast track right here? Silver, gold, tiger's eye. Well, just to kind of give you a tip, silver and gold are going to be going together called journey. They're going to be rearranging that. So don't be surprised if one day when you come in here, you see journey. Just want to prepare you for that. But right now I'm going to, um, oh, let me say something else. And here's all these topics. Okay, so if you want to watch what Jim has recently done, or if you missed a How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight webinar, there it is. Um, if you want to, there's a stretch a minute. I'm doing some exercise videos there. There's some tutorial videos. Those are always good to watch in the beginning. Um, this is Travis's original daily doses, which we'll talk more about tomorrow. I made these little member success videos during the, the height of the pandemics because we couldn't get out and go anywhere. I was making some videos. So those are kind of fun to watch. And then if you come on down here, there's just lots and lots. Do you know why we have so much content? Because we know it requires a lot of motivation and education to keep everybody focused and motivated to change habits that they've had for many, many, many years. And so we also know that not everybody's available at the exact time that we're doing a live video. So everything that we do is recorded and then it's put here. Now, nobody has to go in here and watch every single one of these videos. They're just there for the people that do want to watch them and learn more. If you by chance have missed one of my little morning shibby shows, you can go right here into the journal videos and watch that too. But all of these things are great and you're going to learn stuff from all of them. All right. Now I'm in the silver level. And the reason I know that I'm in the silver level is do you see how this little tab is just a little bit higher? It's kind of hard to see because it's a light color on top of a light background. But if I click on gold, you'll be able to see that the gold tab is just a little bit higher right there, a little bit higher. And so that's how you know which uh, group or video library you're in. And you want to lo look at this like college, this or not college, in education. We got, we got elementary school, upper elementary school, high school, college. Okay, so we just want to know that you're not expected to learn every single thing in one night. It's going to be a progression. It's going to be a progression. That's right, Patty. Patty says videos keep you motivated. Another thing that keeps you motivated is staying engaged with us. There is something about knowing that other people across the country are doing this with you. And if you'll stay engaged by participating in things You'll, you'll be much more motivated, okay? And you'll feel you'll feel like that, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. So, okay, enough about that. Survival kit, let's, let's search for survival kit. And I'm just wanting to show you, there you go. There's some videos on survival kit. So you can watch Travis's survival kit right there. There's some with Jason. And then there's a more recent one right here with Jim. So, um, the survival kit is important because let's say that you are the person that you just say, I've got to have uh, bread on a hamburger when I go out, or I've got to have a bun on that Chick-fil-A sandwich. But you know that the ones that they have out in restaurants and stuff don't work. Well, if you need to have one to make you happy. I just have basically said, mm, nah, I don't need to carry this stuff around with me, but you got to figure out what, what works for you. If you're that person, you need to have a survival kit. You need to know, okay, I'm going to carry a tortilla with me. I'm going to carry a bun with me or bread or but approved, obviously. And then if you like salad dressings or other little sprinkles on your salads that restaurants don't have, you would want to carry those with you. Uh, if you work in one location all day long, you might want to have a spot, not in your desk where you're opening it up and looking at it all day, maybe another little separate area. Um, and that maybe you put a power crunch bar in there. Maybe you have a, a couple of shelf stable microwavable meals. Okay, so you got to figure out ways to um, 
have a survival kit. How am I going to survive in this day if I don't have this, that, or the other? You take the things that you think you might need. And over time, you'll either figure out all the things that you want to carry around with you, or you'll figure out, I don't even need that stuff when I'm out and about because I can do this, that, and the other and make it perfect. And I'm happy with that. You'll figure out one or the other. So what my suggestion is, is to go ahead and click right here where it says survival kit. What is it and what and why and what is its importance? Click there. My internet must not be having fun tonight because the Facebook keeps freezing up um, and it's taken a second to get to this video. But if you've been with me all night, when you click here, you know that there's going to be a heart there and you just click that. OK, I'm not going to belabor that point. Let's go back into this. And we also want to search for hemp. OK, going to click for hemp. And there is all the videos that somebody has tagged with the keyword hemp. So the one I want you to watch is this one. It's called phase two. But phase two just means that you want to know a little bit more um, in when it's a video. OK, but phase two, when we're talking about foods, just means that you have more variety open to you, like more cereals, more frozen meals and more soups. It is not necessarily that you've gone to a higher quality of food. It's really not necessarily a higher quality of food. It's just more variety of things that you might want to use ever so often. But this is the video that I want you to look at. We'll see if it goes to that one any faster. <clears throat> there we go. So do you see how I've got this one hearted? I've got this one hearted. So if I just click right here on my favorites, there's going to be all of my favorites. And if I scroll on down, I'll be able to, oh, I've got a lot of the food ones hearted. Come on down here. There's that survival kit when I had it hearted. And then the hemp one is somewhere in there. So anyway, you just want to heart it and then it would be right there. So now I am going to search for advanced because I want you to like, I want you to heart two videos so that you're, when you're ready to watch them, I want you to watch this one and this one, these two, when you're ready to watch them. Anytime you watch a video, please make sure that you say, I've watched it and you click right there and you say that you've watched it. I can't believe I hadn't watched that. I mean, it says I haven't watched it. That's kind of crazy. I've watched a lot of videos, y'all. In fact, if you go right here, look, it says in the silver level, it says that I've watched 790 videos in just that level. That's about 790 hours of videos that I've watched. Now, I don't sit around in my house and watch them. I drive around in my car a lot. So what I do is I put it on in the car like a like a um, podcast. So I've listened to these mostly in the vehicle. <laughs> okay, so that's how you, everybody, y'all give me some thumbs up if you, you get it. There's a video library with lots of content and there's a search bar for you to be able to find specific topics or you can just look over here at these topics and kind of methodically work your way through those over a period of time. Y'all thumbs up, everybody got that? So after you just, you feel comfortable, I know there's a video library. Uh, thank you, Karen. I know that there's um, a search bar. I see that if I want to see that, like she showed it, I need to choose the detail level. This is really just kind of getting your account all set up. Thank you, Teresa. Um, all set up so that you can access this stuff quickly. You know, I know that people don't go to things that takes multiple steps to get to. So this is why it's like, okay, let's save this as a favorite. Let's save this as a favorite on your home screen of your phone. Save this out on your favorites bar on your computer. Do everything that you can to make this be your hub, your, your hub, because you are trying to change some ingrained habits. You're trying to unlearn knowledge and add new knowledge. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, so once you're there and you understand that, you just click that box. Okay, 
So now we're going to have some fun. We're going to look up the restaurant guide. The Shibboleth lifestyle teaches nutrition for all situations. Eating in restaurants does not have to mean a holiday. When looking at the restaurant guide, locate the restaurants you frequent the most often. Read through the list of items listed and open several that you think you might enjoy. It's important that it is not assumed that you can eat the meal just as it's listed on the menu at the restaurant. You want to order it like it says in the food, I mean the restaurant guide. Isn't that amazing? We tell you exactly how to order it. You could just read it out. Ordering instructions will be available for each menu item listed. Reading this before you go to a restaurant, if you have that luxury on that particular day, um, before you go to a restaurant can help you prepare a survival kit if you would like. You might like to screenshot a few of your favorites to have them handy. So for example, if you go to Chick-fil-A often, go ahead and screenshot some things that you want to order so that it can be easily accessible right there in your photos on your phone. All right, so we're going to go to the restaurant guide. In the restaurant guide, you remember how we've talked about the weight loss meter this week? The weight loss meter is another way to basically filter foods. You're filtering the foods out for how great are they for weight loss and or are they, they still are approved, but not that great for weight loss if you're in weight loss mode. Well, that's when you want to use this little filter right here. So we can use that. Okay, we're going to look at some other ways this is laid out first before we start playing around. Look at what you've got, the very first thing up here. The number one rule for restaurant dining. Number one rule for restaurant dining. Basically, you can eat meat at a restaurant that's, you know, grilled, baked, something like that. Um, you wouldn't want it to be fried, but, um, and then you can have a fibrous carb with it. So see how that says a one plus two four plus two or seven plus two. We're just listing out the numbers there so that, you know, because you at home, you've been thinking chicken breast is a lean protein. That's a category one. Shellfish is a, um, a lean protein too. That's a category seven. Okay, protein plus fat or steak, that's a category four. That would be a natural thing that would happen anyway. But what you want to do is just say, no matter what I call it at home, when I go to a restaurant, it is a category four protein plus fat. But we're just listing those out to just open your mind to it's all meat at a restaurant, but you just got to know it's a protein plus fat and you would just eat that with a fibrous carb. Let's see, Patty says, like Captain D's, she orders white fish and shrimp skewer dinner, no rice, no bread, and she gets broccoli and green beans as the sides. And I can't, it says see more and I can't reach that. So if it says more, but anyway, that's what she does at Captain D's for that order. And you see, see how she can write that because that she's used to ordering that like that. When I go into Chick-fil-A, I say eight fried nuggets, side salad instead of fries, light Italian dressing and a small diet lemonade. There, that's how I order at Chick-fil-A. But see, we used to have, I'll take a number one with a Coke or whatever, roll off of our tongue. See how that other one rolls off my tongue now? Because I've practiced ordering it enough to make it a new habit. Okay, so then one way to look at this recipe, I mean, restaurant guide is just to scan the things. Okay, A and W and just kind of look at everything that's listed. But if you, you know, you're like, I don't even have an A and W near me. I just want to see what they've got at Captain D's like Patty suggested, then you can click on the button on the right-hand side and they'll take you to Captain D specifically. And if you're searching for a restaurant, let's just say you want to use the search bar, you could type in Cracker Barrel, find them, okay? So just like um, any rule at any restaurant, you can eat some a category one, four, or seven, but with a two only. So what that's going to keep you from doing in a restaurant is that rule keeps you safe because you're not going to order energy carbs, fruit, or superfoods at a restaurant. You're going to order a fibrous carb and then a meat or just, just a fibrous carb salad. You know, if you wanted to do that, that's fine. All right. So this right here, this is what Patty orders. Well, it's a negative two on the weight loss meter. Let's click it. So it says how to make it approved, no bread or no rice or no bread. See, Patty's got that rolling off her tongue. No croutons if you choose a side salad. 
Choose category two vegetables as your sides. Zero calorie or close to zero calorie condiments are preferred, but you may have up to 50 calories in approved condiments, keeping in mind that adding a lot of calories in condiments may change the weight loss meter. Remember portion control, your meat should fit under one hand and your entire meal must fit under both hands. This is a category four plus two, where see normally the shrimp in this whitefish at home, if you fix this in the appropriate cooking oil and all, that'd be a one plus seven. That would be a lean protein in a shellfish with a fiber scar. And then what I like about this is it's specifically mentioned, if you're trying to do the absolute best for weight loss, you might wanna use zero calorie. And if you start adding other condiments, it could take this meal from a negative two up to like a negative one or zero, depending on what you're using for that. So that's where that, see these little nuances that we do really can help you make some good decisions. Okay, so let's just click on, let's click on chilies. Chilies has probably got a lot to choose from. Look at that. Look at all that for chilies. Um, but let's just say at Chili's, we only want to see the things that are negative, um, negative weight loss meter things. So I made my range be negative one to negative three. So it made my list a little bit smaller. Okay. So you've got your classic sirloin ooh, with grilled avocado. You could even get some avocado there. That's nice. Well, let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. I wouldn't be surprised if it said remove the avocado. Let's see. Order it with steamed broccoli or category two side salad. Do not eat the tomatoes that come with the steak. Your entire meal must fit under both hands. The avocado is your condiment. So you may only use one uh, zero calorie condiments. See, Shibboleth is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So it tells you right there. First of all, don't eat the tomatoes with the steak because it, it's enough tomatoes that is making a quarter cup or more. And when that happens, you've got to call that a category three energy carb. Well, you don't eat category three energy carbs with protein plus fat and steak is a protein plus fat. So that's smart. They're telling us not to eat those tomatoes. But then it specifically says the avocado is your condiment. So therefore, don't add any other condiments to it unless it's zero calorie. I fall in love with this website and this lifestyle every single time, every night, every night, because it's just, isn't it awesome to know what to do? Whether you have five pounds to lose or 200 pounds to lose, not knowing how to do it is frustrating. We can help you take that frustration out of it. Now, we can help you take the frustration out of it if you are willing to humble yourself and actually order it like this and be happy that you know what to do rather than hacked that you have to do it. Okay, so let's see. Um, Cracker Barrel is a good one, but anybody want, uh, somebody want to give a suggestion of what us, we can click on, anybody? I'm gonna take one suggestion and then we're gonna move over to the wow challenges. One more restaurant suggestion if somebody wants to give it. All right. So I guess y'all are ready to move on to wow challenges. So once you're familiar with this restaurant guide. You know it's there. You understand that you need to open it and read it to know how to order it. Okay, Dawn said Mexican. All right. Mexican. Look right here. All Mexican restaurants. So for example, let's say that you like El Rodeo or Los Reyes or El Nopal or whatever they're all called. We don't name them all out specifically. We just call it all Mexican restaurants. All Mexican restaurants, you can do three, three soft chicken tacos, but let's open this <coughs> and look at it. Combine the contents of all the tacos into your own Shibboleth approved tortilla. You would want to carry an approved tortilla with you to have that. Remember your portion control and combinations. If you have filling left over, you may eat it with a fork. 
I love that. I love that. Eat it with a fork. I mean, sometimes we think we have to eat it with a chip or we have to eat it with something we're scooping. Use the fork to scoop it up there instead of the chip. Um, if You may add category two or zero calorie condiments if you would like. Without nutrition information, it's hard to tell if the chicken will count as a one or a four. Well, I don't even know why they write that because all four, all category, all meat at a restaurant just needs to be considered a category four to keep you safe. So yeah, it's always best to call it a four where there are uncertainties, okay? So that's something, three soft chicken tacos. I mean, let's look at what else. Um, any, look, just this would fit at any restaurant, any meat and fibrous carb. So any lean protein, protein plus fat, shellfish with a fibrous carb. Bowl of chicken soup, no rice. Let's read that one. You may have a bowl of Mexican chicken soup with no rice. Journal it as a category six. Um, let's see, Patty says, shrimp and chicken fajitas with peppers and onions in my own extreme wellness wrap. None of those beans or other stuff. <laughs> you know, and I'm just going to make a suggestion too. I would say, please don't bring the chips to the table. Do you know why people like Mex? One of the reasons people like Mexican restaurants so much because it is instant gratification as soon as you walk in there. There's no having to uh, have a delayed satisfaction of waiting for something. Boom, you've got it. That's one reason people like to go there and eat. Um, Patty says, leave that cheese and chips off the table. Empty calories. Now, you actually could have a little bit of cheese dip if you wanted to take your own Benitos or other chip. Look at this. Um, All right, so I'm gonna click this. Remember that you can have one extra in a day if you wanted to. So look, there's an extra. You could choose one of these things as an extra. So right there, cheese dip. And you could even have them cut up those sliced bell peppers if you didn't wanna take anything in there, which would be great. But if you also, let's say that you wanted to take Benito's in. If you haven't had another snack in the day, you could call that a snack. And an extra, which is kind of cool. So that's where you're going to look for that uh, Don, the Mexican. But I just, I, to tell you the truth, I quit eating Mexican. I quit eating Mexican long before Shibola. Here's why. I left out of there always feeling terrible. There, okay, after you eat Mexican, there's no like, oh, let me get stuff done around the house in my in my world. If I, When I left from the Mexican restaurant, I'm like this. I mean, there is no getting anything else done. If you want to go for a walk, you're dragging. Who wants to get up and go for a walk after they're loaded down with all of that? I would say you're doing yourself a huge favor eating Shibola style at a Mexican restaurant. Believe me, you might enjoy the flavor and everything, but if you do all that other stuff, you don't feel good after anyway. All right. So once you're familiar with that, go ahead and check that box. If you happen to be a Fast Track only member here tonight with us, you'll notice that these things are available to journey level and up. So that just means that you need to upgrade to get the journey level. Right now, it's only 69 bucks and it's a lifetime. You can go get that at shibolithdeals.com. And if you heard about Shibboleth from somebody, write in their first and last name for us. Okay. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about tonight are wow challenges wow wow stands for war on weakness wow challenges are weird and wacky challenges where you determine in your heart and in your mind that you are going to meet the challenge for the day wow challenges are one day challenges but can be done multiple days in a row Wow challenges are great to practice your self-discipline muscle to use after a holiday or for a perceived plateau breaker. They are designed to help you lose up to one pound in a day. You earn a badge for the very first wow challenge that you complete, and then the number increases on that badge for each wow challenge that you complete. You accept it and then complete it. Pick some favorites by hearting. We like to heart things, don't we? Maybe I should go a heart. Maybe I should figure out how to make the heart with my fingers. I'm so old school. I don't even know how to do that. Um, but heart some 
so that you can use them if you hit a wall, if you need to regain focus or to just challenge yourself. Okay, so we're gonna click here. We go to a, uh, the WOW Challenge page. This is a video right here of me showing you how to accept the challenge and, and everything that you need to do about that. So that's a video right there on how to do that. You'll notice that there is a search bar. So if you're looking for something specifically, Patty is saying that she loves WOW challenges. I love the avocado ones. Yes. So if you're looking for something like uh, you have a hankering for avocado or you have a hankering for ice cream, you can look for these kind of things in here and you can get over that hankering because you're going to be like, I'm eating ice cream, ice cream three times a day. Uh, yeah, I've had enough of that. You only do that one for one day. Oh yeah, Mighty Muffins too. I really like the Mighty Muffin Wow Challenges, the Hemp Bar Wow Challenges. Those are really, really good. So you can search for those type things in the search bar. But you now you'll notice there's a My Favorites tab and then there's a My History tab. The My History tab, let me show that first, just shows you all the ones that you've previously done. So if you've forgotten the name of one and you didn't heart it, you can just go back to that. And then my, my favorites are all the ones that I have personally hearted, which is great. It brings you down into this, um, this area. You've personally hearted all of these. So while we're scrolling down through here, speaking of cheese dip, there's some cheese dip right there. Yes, there are so many great ones. Cheese dip, let's click on this. So for breakfast, oh, okay. Now remember I said that they are wild and wacky. You, you, these these aren't meal plans that you're going to like go, oh, I want that all the time. You would, some of these things aren't even like uh, normal things that we put together. It's just things that Travis has determined will work, but meets the fun sometimes that we're looking for. So breakfast, one scrambled egg with two tablespoons of cheese dip on the egg. That sounds yummy. For lunch, bell peppers, carrots, or celery with a quarter cup of cheese dip. And for dinner, approved chips with two ounces of 96% lean ground meat and up to a quarter cup of cheese dip. Salsa is also fine. Please use one of the approved chips that are listed right here. So health-wise chips, double bites, and bonitos, and you can click on those to see what that looks like. Now, here's a couple of things about WOW challenges. WOW challenges are not to be changed around. So if you don't like the way that this reads, don't choose it, okay? Just don't choose it because there is no like, let me call somebody and let me message somebody. I want to make this thing be the way I want it to be. No, you're following the way Travis has said it's going to be. Travis is our founder. He's put this together. What you can do though, is you can rearrange the order in which you have them unless it says, make sure that you eat something before four. Or something like that. Okay. If it, but otherwise, if you wanted this breakfast stuff at lunch or dinner, you could do that. If you wanted to rearrange those, you could, but you can't say, um, well, right here, instead of bell peppers, carrots, or celery, I'm going to do chips. That's not what it says. Okay. So you re, you do it the way that it says to do it. All right. Let's have a look. Breakfast for dinner. Let's see that one. <clears throat> so for, Pre-breakfast, they're even giving you a pre-breakfast on this one. You, you have an Advocare Spark. Then at breakfast, a serving of bio coffee with one serving of health-wise hot chocolate or one serving of bio coffee with one serving of cocoa ringa. Now, with you all being new, you may go, I don't know what bio coffee is. I don't know what health-wise hot chocolate is. I don't know what cocoa ringa is. They are all linked. So you just go to the food library by clicking. Then you read the category, you read the approved portion, you read the ways that you can use it just to familiarize yourself with it. And if you then see, okay, I don't have this, I might wanna use it in the future. Let me go ahead and get some to have in my pantry or my cabinet, boom, you click. Well, that one's not linked, that's nice. But you click there and it usually takes you to the website um, and you can put that in your cart. And then you can order that. Patty says she loves bio coffee. Yeah, we had to get her off the bio coffee so much. Okay. And then let's come down here. Where was I? Oh, the breakfast for dinner one. And then for lunch, ooh, Chick-fil-A grilled chicken nuggets with a side salad and approved dressing or 
Wendy's chili over a side salad. That's a great idea for work days. If you work and have maybe a Wendy's or a Chick-fil-A near you, it's a great idea. Now, see right here where it says Chick-fil-A grilled chicken nuggets? See, on a regular Shibboleth day where you are not doing a wow challenge, then you could have the fried nuggets, but this says grilled. So you do what it says on here. You can't go switching that around. All right, mid-afternoon, you could have an AdvoCare Spark. Patty, you might have to have this uh, wow challenge. Um, one serving, AdvoCare Spark. And then for dinner, two to three scrambled eggs with or without a carb quick biscuit or two or three scrambled eggs with bran crisp, or two scrambled eggs with one serving of AHS pancakes, a mighty muffin. It says waffle style. You don't have to do it waffle style. You can just cook it. Or health-wise pancakes and sugar-free syrup. There's a lot of options right there. That actually might be kind of fun to do like for the family and say, um, we're going to play Waffle House tonight. What do you want? and let them kind of choose. That'd be so fun to make a little menu and have them check off what they wanted and say, uh, remember the, the the soup Nazi on, um, what was that show, Stein, Seinfeld? You could say, order it the way it is or no soup for you. You could, you could <laughs> laugh and have fun with them. Um, so that's a fun one. Okay, and we'll look at one more. Oh, let's see what this one is. Grab the gold, grab the gold. This is so good. I don't know who laughed at that on Facebook, but thank you. Um, so the grab the gold bar, delicious, absolutely delicious. Okay, so it says grab the gold bar, any flavor. For better results, you can eat air. If you ever see somebody saying I ate air for breakfast, it just means that you're skipping breakfast or lunch. I'm just going to tell you, I don't eat air. I don't skip meals. I, I eat. I like to eat. Okay. Then right here for lunch, you're having another one. Or you could eat air. I'm not eating air. Dinner. You may have a lean protein or shellfish and a fibrous carb. So for example, chicken breast and broccoli or turkey breast and green beans, shrimp and salad with a approved dressing. You can use approved spices and seasonings. If you have a salad, you must use an approved dressing. And then it gives you some acceptable categories there and tells you that you need to cook it with the oils. And it, this one gives you something very specific. Most things don't. Your total meal calories must be under 400. Okay. So they're giving you something new. And typically on a wow challenge, typically on a wow challenge day, you are going to have no more than three meals and it might even be two, depending. Now, I laugh and say I don't eat air, but there is well challenges that were specifically made for me. Kim's egg white and egg white grill and nuggets. So for breakfast, a Chick-fil-A egg white grill on, and it, this, it tells you all this variety. If you eat it on their bread, it's zero on the weight loss meter, meaning really not gonna help you, not gonna hurt you. On category two bread, meaning you'd have to provide your own bread, like in a survival kit, it would be a negative one on the weight loss meter. On a 50 calorie tortilla, so that would be even better to use in your survival kit, it's a negative two on the weight loss meter. And if you remove the cheese, it can improve the weight loss meter by a one. So let's say that you have it on a 50 calorie tortilla and remove the cheese, you've got a negative three weight loss meter meal if you do that. So then it does say skip, skip. I didn't like that he made me skip anything, but he did. Um, and then dinner, eight to 12 grilled nuggets with a side salad with approved dressing. And it says, do not use sweet dipping sauces for the chicken. Okay, so let me tell you how I would eat this. I would eat breakfast right before they quit making it, <laughs> like right before they move into lunch. And then I would probably eat dinner about four o'clock. And that's how I would... That's how I would separate my hours on that one. Let's see, Wendy, uh, let your teacher show, let your teacher show and glue a heart on a popsicle stick and show every time you heart. I love that. Okay, let me show you this, Wendy. I do have this. I do have this. I could show this, heart it. This is that little face emoji. And then I wrote in there, Shibboleth works. 
So I could show that. Is that is that good, Wendy? Would that work when I say hearted or should I just do a heart? Should I just do a heart? And Wendy says that she loves the ice cream wow challenge. Um, hey, Patty's telling us that her friend Dana Lovell is on fire. That's good. That's really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to click on one and show you what you do to accept it. So when you click on accept, it's going to open up this little pop-up window. If for some reason you're not getting pop-ups, you might want to say accept pop-ups for um, Shibboleth. Then you're going to choose the date you're going to do this on. And then you click accept. And that's that. It moves it over into your journal. So right here, you would then see it in your journal on that day. Let me make a suggestion. I wouldn't, good, Wendy. Okay, awesome. I'll use that. Thank you for that suggestion. I love that. So when you get to your journal, okay, unless you know you're going to do that, I might, I might accept it that morning. Like I wouldn't accept it three days in advance because you might change your mind and you might not want to do it on that day or you may have something come up that day and then you're going to get a diet devil for not finishing it. By the way, if you tap out, we call it tap out. If you call, if you tap out or don't complete a wow challenge, and by the way, always be truthful. Um, if you tap out, you're going to get a diet devil. What you need to know to get rid of that diet devil is you just need to complete another wow challenge and that diet devil will go away. Okay, that other one will go away. So it's kind of like you got one and it's going to sit there and look at you until you complete the next wow challenge and then that other one goes away. All right, so that's kind of a fun little thing. But if you get a diet devil for going over your allowed number of holidays in a calendar month, he's going to be there. OK, so just it, he's there to say, oops, do you really want to do that today? If you go and journal that, it's going to call it a blow it day and it's going to give you the diet devil. And then you can actually if you're journaling in the morning, you could actually say, oh, no, no, I don't want him looking at me. Let me have a perfect day. So these things are actually designed to help you make good decisions. And it's kind of fun to do that. But what some people do is they say, I'm going to do this wow challenge. And then they don't actually accept it till the end of the day. And then they go and complete it right then. Now, that's all right, because things do change. But if you're really wanting to challenge yourself, then you need to accept it in the morning. Because if you accept it in the morning, and you don't want to diet devil, you're going to have to stick to this. And that might actually make you stick to it rather than giving up on something if you haven't accepted it yet. So just, just a little... Just a little uh, challenge to you there. So then once you understand that wow challenges are there and that's what they're, uh, they're meant to be a challenge, then you just simply click the box. Now, when you are no longer in fast track, you're going to find wow challenges right here in wall breakers and challenges. So we are finishing up tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's our last night together for Fast Track. Please know that you can do this multiple weeks. If, and if you, if you kind of like, okay, I, I, I got some of that stuff. The Sunday and Monday, I would highly suggest that you listen to multiple times just to kind of get that going. And if you come back and listen to these Fast Track classes too, I don't always pull up the same things. I don't always look at the same things. So really, as we're going through this, you're finding out and hearing about more foods, more recipes, more restaurants, because I haven't, I don't do the same ones every time. So it's, it's fine if you want to come back. I would love it. But tomorrow night, we're going to go over some really cool things. We're going to go over how to create a meal plan. And we're going to look at a 21-day challenge if you feel like you need a 21-day challenge to get you started. So I hope y'all had a great time this week. We got one more night. Y'all come back tomorrow night with me, okay? And I'm going to let us go right now so we can take a little um, break, get a water, that kind of thing. At 8.30, I am doing the How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight webinar. Awesome, Phyllis. Phyllis is just confirming what I said. It's different every time she watches. It's the same info, but I go over different things based on who's here, what people have said, the questions that were asked. And so it really is such a great um, uh, way to continue learning. 
And Phyllis, thank you for being here tonight. Let's see, Patty says, listen until you get it, take notes and feel free to ask questions. You're welcome, Patty, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, so we're gonna hop off and then at 8.30, come back. If you don't know how to register for this webinar, let me pull my screen up again. Click here on the pink online webinars tab. When you click on the pink online webinars tab, it's the video that's going on tonight called How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight. You don't have to click there. Click register here and it will take you to the Zoom registration. Then you will get a email, an email that says join here, click here to join. And I'll be back in five minutes, okay? Bye everybody.